two halves on the way home. Where's Romeo and Juliet, then? If you mean Mum and Mr Bingley, they've gone to the pictures. Aye, aye. The back row, eh? <laughs> I sincerely hope not. They're a bit old for that sort of thing. Listen, love, you're never too old for that sort of thing. Look at Charlie Chaplin. He's still having a go at 80. <laughs> you are crude. What time is it? Six o'clock. Six? Gosh, she should have been back ages ago. The matinee finished at ten to five. Yeah, well, don't worry, love. She's probably uh, gone for a quiet sit down in the cemetery. Of course. On the other hand, she could be halfway to Gretna Green by now, you know. There are times, Lizzie, when I find your remarks very distasteful. Here, go on, make yourself useful. Go up to our room and fix the curtain nail in the bedroom, will you? You've been going to do it since last Christmas. Yeah, all right, love. Hello, my I enjoyed the film. I liked it. <laughs> hello, oh, hello. 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 Right. oh, hello, Mr Bingley. Hello, Ruth. Sit yourself down for a minute, Walter. Ah, well, it must only be a minute now. Where have you been till now? Well, we were, as you might say, unavoidably detained. Detained? What with? Shoes. Shoes? Yeah, well, you know when you go to the pictures, you kick your shoes off. Oh, no. <laughs> and when the lights went up, you see, they'd gone. Gone, yes. <laughs> They got kicked right down to the front. So we had to wait till everybody else had gone out. Which was why we was obtained and avoided. <laughs> I have told you time and time again about kicking your shoes off in the cinema. They weren't dead as they were mine. <laughs> Yours? <laughs> I had a new pair on the airplane smashed with my corns. Never mind, we enjoyed the pictures. Yeah, and our flavour of the month. Oh, I hope you haven't been knocking back ice cream. What, well, on a pension? Drink on a stick was all we had. Between us. Oh, I'm going to put these in your room. Oh, good. I didn't like undressing with no curtains. It was only for one night while these were being cleaned. Well, I still didn't like it. Anyway, last night I forgot all about it. I switched on the light. <laughs> I do. I missed my chance there. <laughs> Could you? How could you? You know what that Mr Henshaw's like over the road, peeping Percy? Oh, oblige me. He must want a job if he was peeping at me. <laughs> you get worse. Oh, she does get aerated at times. Well, 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 they do, you know. What are we going to do this Saturday, Sunday, Walter? Oh, I... I forgot to tell you. I shall be away. Oh, it's all right for some. <laughs> Who are you going to? I'm off to Bogner tomorrow. You see, the council, they have a home there. It's called Sunlight House. It's a sort of convalescent home, you know. And if you're a pensioner, well, you get a cheap holiday there. Oh, lucky you. Yeah. How long are you going for? Oh, only for the weekend. Saturday and Sunday can't afford much more. Still, it'll be a break for you. Oh, why? Uh... Can anyone come? Well, no, only uh, council employees or the wives. Oh, I see. Mind you, I have known cases where the odd bachelor has taken a certain lady with him for the weekend, passed her off as his wife, when she wasn't. Oh, fancy. <laughs> Don't they get found out? Oh, no, no. No, they never ask any questions or anything. It's shocking. Oh, disgraceful. <laughs> Immoral, I call that. Disgusting. 
Don't they never get found out? Ever? No, 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 no. I like Bogner. <laughs> Very nice and quiet this time of the year. Yes, you wouldn't be likely to bump into anyone you knew, would you? <laughs> Very doubtful. What time will you pick me up? <laughs> will you, really, will you come? Why not? We're over the age of consent, aren't we? <laughs> By gum, this is champion. I've never been on a dirty weekend before. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know. At our age, you'd hardly call it a dirty weekend. <laughs> More like off-white. <laughs> yes, yes, oh, yes. I say, do you think we'll be able to get in? Oh, I'm sure of that. I've already booked for two. <laughs> oh, I say, you was being crafty. <laughs> oh, no. Just hopeful. I think I shall have to watch you. You're not nice to know. <laughs> hey, there's one thing. Now, you're Ruth. Now, what are you going to tell her? Oh, you don't have to worry about her. I can always manage my Ruthie. Right. Well, then, listen. I'll go and finish my packing. Yes. And we'll meet tomorrow morning, half past nine, right. at the station. Don't forget. Uh, yes, as I was saying, half past nine tomorrow, we could take a stroll up as far as the cemetery. Right yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Leslie. I'm just off. <laughs> Ta-da. Bye-bye, dear. What was all that about, then? Nothing. I think I'd better go up and help Ruth with the curtains. Oh, she's finished, Ma. I wouldn't bother if I were you. Oh, isn't there any more curtains I can help you with, Ruthie? No, all done. Then come and sit down, girly. You Have are... a rest. You Get are... your feet up. Yeah, but I ought to be doing the tea. I can do that. I'm going to make you a nice bit of dripping toast. <laughs> with salt and pepper. I think everyone ought to have a rest now and again. Don't you agree, Leslie? Definitely, Ma, yes. And a change is as good as a rest, they say. <coughs> Are you all right? <laughs> oh, yes, darling, I'm quite all right. I expect I could do with a change. Yeah, couldn't we all? Nice bit of fresh air blowing off of the sea. That's why I thought I'd go to Bogner tomorrow. Oh, very nice. Bogner? Tomorrow. Bogner? Yes, Bogner. You know, the made it a Regis. <laughs> George V went down there to coalesce. Go on. <laughs> you can't afford to go gallivanting off to Bogner. Oh, yes, I can. You know that Mrs Armitage at the over 60s club? You know, the one that had everything taken, taken away. away yeah. <laughs> Well, her cousin, sister's husband, he ran a wet fish shop at Golders Green. Well, you remember Nutters. Anyway, he's packed it in now, and they've bought this guest house at Bogner. It's ever such a nice little place in Abigail Road. Anyway, they've told Mrs Armitage that she's most welcome to bring a friend down any time she came. As she's going tomorrow, I thought I'd go with her. Is that all right? You know, you've never said anything to me about a friend who ran a boarding house. Well, they've only just bought it, dear. I say, Abigail Avenue runs parallel with the front. I thought you said it was Abigail Road. Oh, yeah, well, it's one of them streets that begins as a road and ends up as Avenue. <laughs> the guest house is in the middle. I see. And you want to go tomorrow? Well, it would be nice. I could catch the 9.45 from Victoria. Do you know what Walter was going on about meeting you at the station? <laughs> <laughs> have I, uh, have I said something wrong, have I? I hope not. <laughs> Where's Mr Bingley going, then? Oh, no, at least why he is, but it's purely coincidental. <laughs> I mean, he'll be stopping at this council home, won't he? This sunlit house or whatever it is. It's miles from where I'll be. I don't suppose I shall ever see him, except on the train. Yeah, well, I don't know. I'm not very happy about it. Do my cough good. Yes, but we're all going away, aren't we, in August to Mablethorpe? If I last that long. Oh, oh, don't start that again. Hey, go on, love. It might be, might be quite nice, you know. Uh, you and me will be alone for the weekend. <laughs> I really don't see what difference it makes what I say. I mean, if you've made up your mind. Oh, well, I wouldn't like to do anything against your wishes, girly. Especially as I want to borrow a couple of quid. Oh! <laughs> ah, 
do you? Well, now, look, I'm very sorry, but I must be honest. I don't like this Bogner lark at all. It's all too sudden. You mean you don't want to go? Well, I'd rather you didn't. Well, OK, then. If you don't want me to go, I won't go. Don't start sulking. I've no intention of sulking. I'm just going up and lock myself in my bedroom and start a hunger strike. <laughs> Hello, Leslie. Ah, very pretty to see you. Ah, came to see you, Mr Bingley. Uh, <laughs> just caught you in time by the look uh, of things. Aye, well, I want to be at the station early, you see. Do you think we'll get some uh, good weather this weekend? Yeah, well, I, uh, I don't think it matters, really. <laughs> We'll enjoy ourselves all day, even if it's chucking it down. Yeah, I, I didn't mean that, you see. It's, uh, well, Mrs Cresswell. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll look after her, all right. Yeah, she's not going. Ah, I might tell you, we're right looking forward. What do you say? Not going? No, uh, Ruth's put the block on. She doesn't want her to go. Oh. So I'm... I'm on my own, then? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr Bingley. Oh, it's... It's not your fault, then. Yeah, well, well, I'd better get going, otherwise I'd be late. Uh, can, I, can I drop you anywhere? No. Well, there's no point in rushing now, is there? Yeah, well, I'll be seeing you, Mr Bingley. Mum, for the last time, are you coming down for breakfast? Oh, you are aggravating. You know I've got to go to work. I'll be back at lunchtime. Oh, uh, you didn't think I was letting you loose on your own in bunker, uh, did you? With, with platforms, yeah, maybe I did. No, I don't know, dear. Isn't it a smashing day? Isn't it marvellous? Should be better down there, you know. It's always more sunny, isn't it? I think it's... Uh, no, 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 no. Here we are, at last. I feel ever so nervous, Walter. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. Will you stop looking so guilty? Well, I can't help it. I feel guilty. <laughs> Nobody will be a penny the wiser. Here, have you done this sort of thing before? <laughs> have I, Thump? Well, then, why aren't you nervous? Because I tell you, there's nothing to worry about. Ah, good morning. 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 Uh, we're here for the weekend. Uh, uh -huh. We have booked. Ah, yes. We are married. <laughs> to each other. I should hope so. We wouldn't want any funny business, would we, eh? <laughs> no funny business. <laughs> uh, what, what name is it, please? I made her. He's Walter. <laughs> it's Bingley. Mr and Mrs. Uh, just a minute, please. <laughs> he knows. I oh, know he knows. Don't be so silly. I tell you, he does, dear. I can see by the way he's looking at he's us. He's coming back. Yes, I've got you down. Uh, double R twin. Uh, what do you mean? Beds. Double a twin. 
Twins, please. Right, well, that'll be number five on the first floor. Would you like to sign him, please? Oh, yeah, thank you. You brought some nice weather with you, Mrs Bingley. Uh, Mrs Bingley? Hey, <laughs> duh. Oh, I beg your pardon, was you talking to me? <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs, she's a bit hard of hearing, you see. You brought some nice weather with you. Nice weather. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, I'll take your case upstairs if you'd just like to follow me. Well, no, wait, we're only here like for Zephyr and Sunday, you see, so uh, what we thought was that uh, we could see the room after, you know, and well, go out while the going's good. Yeah, that's right, right, suit yourselves. I'll, I'll see you later. I'll see you later, Mrs Bingley. Later. <laughs> <laughs> and you forgot you were Mrs. Bingley. Oh, I say, I feel ever so wicked. <laughs> I say, it's a good job he asked about the beds. What would you have done if we'd have had a double? Oh, same as I done when I slept with my Sam. Warmed my feet on your back. <laughs> You're a little sex pot, that's what you are. <laughs> Shall we go out then? Oh, I let's say. I think we ought to go and buy something for your Ruth, cos I think it was very good of her to let you come down. Yeah, how did you get round her? Oh, dead easy. I just said I was <laughs> staying with friends. Oh, and she didn't mind? No, she said, you go and enjoy yourself, Mum, she said. Leave <laughs> off, she even gave me a pound to spend. <laughs> Yes, I've borrowed a pound from the housekeeping. <laughs> Your loving mum, Ada Cresswell. <laughs> the crafty beggar. <laughs> Is that all you've got to say? Well, what do you want me to say, love? You might at least show some consideration for me. Yeah. Well, uh, I better get back to work, I think, otherwise I'll be late. You're uh, going to do no such thing. Now, look, which is most important? Your job or my mother? Well, well, what do you want me to do? Well, I'll tell you what I want you to do. You're going to drive me down to Bognor now. We're going to find this Mrs Nutter's boarding house in Abigail, whatever it is, and bring my mother back. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Hang on. There oh, we are. I've bruised my navel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy you a cup of tea. Now, do you want a bother out? No, I don't think so. Oh, well, anyway, they might have been here since last season. <laughs> I don't want to spoil my dinner. No. Just do tea as well, please. I'll go and grab a table. Right. Thank you. Well, this still water. We've got a lovely view. Oh, well, it's champion. Ew, what a day. Oh, it always rains at the seaside. <laughs> uh, you know, all right, enjoy that walk. It's probably brought the colour to your face. <laughs> oh, I love the sea. You can't work it. Do you know, I remember the first time I ever saw the sea. It was on a Sunday school out into Scarborough. I also remember they gave us a paper bag with an apple and an orange, a round of bread with some cheese in it. I don't know who sweated most that day, me or that piece of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going on ten when I first saw the sea, Wait. South End. I remember I couldn't get my socks and shoes off fast enough. But when I was stood there paddling, with all that moving water going on forever, I got so dizzy I sat down. <laughs> Didn't half get into trouble afterwards. I wet my new knickers. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we always stay at the same place, sea view. And could you? Uh, if you got up on the roof with a flipping Ooh. telescope. <laughs> it's more like a barracks than a boarding house. You had to be in by 11. Don't hang towels out of the window. Make your own bed. We stayed at Mon Repo, <laughs> boys, some Repo. It was next to the shanting yards. What a dump. We had to, there was only the one bar a week. We had to be down by half past eight for breakfast, else we'd had it till lunchtime. <laughs> Hey, happy days. Yes, it was happy days. Do you know, it's the first time I've been on holiday without my Ruth and Leslie since my Sam died. Oh, they are. Well, I dare say you miss them. Never mind. You'll be seeing them again soon. Oh, yes. I'll give her Abigail. Well, well, well perhaps you got the name wrong, love. Yes, on purpose. It's a good job I knew where Mr Bingley was staying, isn't it? 
At least he'll know where she is. Oh, good afternoon. Good I afternoon. believe you have a Mr. Walter Bingley staying here. Yes, that's right, but they're both out at the moment. Oh, well, we'll wait. Right. Both? <laughs> yes, him and his missus, uh, Ada. Oh, my God. <laughs> is uh, something the matter? No, no. Oh, well, they shouldn't be very long. Uh, you can wait if you like. Thank you. Did you hear that? My mother and that man. Having a crafty weekend. Oh, don't be so vulgar. Well, we did it, didn't we? What? Before we were married, don't you remember? We came here to Bodner. We stayed at the, uh, the Imperial. Yes, it was, uh... We call ourselves Mr and Mrs Robinson, that's it, yeah. How can I ever forget? There was I, an innocent young girl, trembling with anticipation. And what were you? Blind drunk. <laughs> well, trying to get me courage up, wasn't I? Oh, how romantic. Me in my black nylon nighty, and you in the bathroom moaning never again. <laughs> the only thing I lost that night was my sleep. <laughs> we made up for it since, haven't we, Lavey? <laughs> oh, now, now, this night watchman, he said, Keep your hands off me brazier. He meant brazier, you see. Oh, boy! <laughs> it's a good joke, though, isn't it, eh? Oh, Walter! Oh, Ruth. <laughs> oh, heck. Hello, Mrs Bingley. Now, I can explain everything. We've not been up to any hanky-panky. We haven't even been up to the bedroom. No, and uh, we've got twins. Uh, beds. You're still sharing a room. I've got a... I knew I'd seen you two before. Imperial Hotel, Mr and Mrs Robinson. <laughs> no, no, no. No, you've got it wrong, no. Oh, I'll never forget a face. Besides, I help you up to your room. Oh, did you? Here, just a minute. Are you saying that's Mr and Mrs Robinson? Yes, that's right. They stayed at the Imperial Hotel, 1961 it was. United supporter. I'll never forget a face. Hey. <laughs> And they say lightning never strikes twice. <laughs> well, hello, Mr and Mrs Robinson. 1961. You naughty girl, you naughty. You never even married till 1962. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come you on, now. Have a walk down the front. You <laughs> see you, Ma. See you later, Mr. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Ada. <laughs> I think their crafty weekend has saved ours. <laughs> I'll say. I'll say, Walter. What? Do you feel like another cup of tea? Do you know there's nothing I'd like better? The only thing is, shall we have it here or shall we have it on the pier? On the pier. Let's hurry up then, I'm <laughs> spitting feathers. <laughs> oh, it's nice again. Leave off, we can get a refund on our railway tickets. You know, Ada, I'm right glad you came down. Really enjoyed this weekend. It takes two, Walter. Well, shall we take a stroll on the pier? Yes, might as well get the benefit. Ta! -da. What is Water. it? Water. Brought out there, dear. A ship. Oh, yes. That's what we was doing this summer. Go up the river in a ship. Oh. We could go to Hampton Court. We well, could go to Windsor and see the castle and take sandwiches. Sweet cheese. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, let's use the gate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 